big win at the weekend in the context of the push for the playoffs and preserving the, the home record. How big a result is that it's in the, the manner of, of, of recording it in? Yeah, I didn't even know anything about this record until it got posted, but um, no, it's good to get a win, especially at home. Um, in front of our fans, they always turn up for us, so it's good to give something back. And uh, like you said, uh, the importance of the win, who we played, and and where we sit on the ladder, obviously, it, it give us a bit of breathing space for now. Um, so I thought I thought it was a positive for us. It felt like a, a playoff start of game, that sort of atmosphere and, and the game itself. Is it good to be hitting that sort of intensity levels now as you, as you build towards that, that back end of the season? Yeah, it's, uh, at, at some point, obviously in a few weeks, points won't matter where you are on the ladder. Um, but building yourself right, you know, the atmosphere in, in what we create and, and how we present ourselves on the field and, and, and what we put to... Um, Obviously, practice we what we put on the field is 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 really important, and the boys showed it last week. Um, I feel like we we started to to build something that obviously we want to carry on in the next coming weeks, leading into obviously the finals. Um, Callum Watkins' performance really led the team. His real captain's not there. Is he? I know it's in a, a different position to where he started his career, but is he in career best form now? Yeah, easy. Uh, I think his his game speaks for itself. He's he's not one to go out there and go out in public and tell everyone how good he is. So that's our job, and and I feel like he deserves the praise that that his game shows and and performs for us. And obviously in the league, um, I don't see anyone. Uh, I'll, I'll put it out there. I don't see anyone outmatching our captain in in, in that position at the moment. And then um, T Tim Lafay obviously just returned to the team. He's, he's picked up that that ban now. Um, I know Paul said after the game he didn't have any issues with the, the sin bin. How do you feel about him getting a suspension on the back of it? Uh, off record, it's a bit... I'm a bit old school and uh, I, I thought it was all right. He, he cop I, I thought he served his time on the field. Um, I think I think copying a fine would have been enough, but uh, a one match ban was a bit. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm a bit old school. Uh, I feel like it was a bit soft. And Ryan sort of came off limping a little bit. Um, Paul said after the game it was a change he probably would have made anyway. And he's in he's in the squad for saying so how was how has he come through on on the back of the, the game? Yeah, he's sweet. He was. I'm sprinting out there today, so um, he just wanted to have a breather, pretty much. And then just looking at, at Saints, it's another big test, like we said, the intensity of that Leeds game and, and coming in on a sh short turnaround after that. Um, you know, they've had some, some probably results they weren't expecting recent weeks, but they, they got the win at the weekend. What, what do you sort of expect from this as a contest this week? Uh... Yeah, it's Saints. You you expect nothing but a physical battle, um, and the, and there's always that uh, rivalry, uh, us Saints versus the Devils. So yeah, it's 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 made in the headlines already. So um, I think for us, we we focus on us and and what they bring, and and that's uh, they they didn't win four out of five finals for no reason. So um, we we still hold them at high regard, and and we'll prepare ourselves. Um, as we always do against any team, but we know what they bring in and we'll prepare for that. Thanks, Chris. Now, all the best. Yes, thank you. Hey, mate. Um, fun. You mentioned Callum and um, uh, and how good he's playing. You know, in the last couple of days, he's been linked to, you know, going back to your opponents last week. I don't know if you're the person to ask about that sort of stuff, but do you have any knowledge of any of that stuff or whether there's any truth to it? Or I literally heard about it about two minutes ago, just before. <laughs> Down here, so I've heard nothing of it. Um, he, he's the captain of our club. I don't see him going anywhere anytime soon. So I think that's just one of those rumours that are trying to get in his head, which I, I don't think it will work. He, he's a solid dude. So um, there's no, nothing from nothing from me. So if, if you want to ask, hear from the 
uh, the man himself, so you can ask him when you see him. <laughs> and I, I looked at your press conference from last weekend about your re-signing. Congratulations on that. I just, I just, but I, I didn't see like the timing of the um, of your re-signing when um, obviously uh, Paul now is sticking around and stuff. And was it was it tied into anything else going on at the club aside from your own future? Was it a, was it tied in any way to what other people were doing, like Paul or anyone else at the club? No, not really. Well, everyone was already signed here for next year. I was the only one who hadn't signed for next year. So mm. I said I wanted to link up with those guys and, and obviously extend that as well. So, um, no, it, it wasn't too much. In, there's not too much into it other than uh, I wanted to stay and obviously uh, linking up with the two coaches that, like Paul and Kurt, they've, they've done right by me and interested me to put me in my seat and happy to repay that favour and obviously I'm learning a lot from them uh, as I do every day with the players um, I've been in the game that long and I'm still learning so yeah that was a Final question for me will there be a point when you you know, you know mathematically you're in the playoffs and that you know you might have to rotate some play- I know um, I know one of the fellows who's going to ask after you wants to ask about rotating players but what mathematically have you looked at you know when you're safe how many more wins you need all that sort of stuff have you looked at it from that angle, you know? I failed math, so I'm the last person you need to ask. <laughs> we just worry about winning every week. The more wins, obviously, it gets us in that top six. So that's that's how we'll, we'll look at it. Yep. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Hi, right, Chris Nunn. It's Rob. Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. Big win against Leeds at weekend. What was the most pleasing aspect of the victory? I think it was going up to see my son and I seen you jumping, I seen your, your belly sticking out. I think that was the that was the most <laughs> powerful part of it. So no, it was good to see you jumping and, and, and the fans. I, I thought it was good. Um Yeah, think- obviously the fans played a massive part, didn't they, at weekend and obviously a fan of twenty five years, it's it's a long time uh, to experience moments like this. I can speak to every from every Sulfa fan. Um obviously as a coach, do you kind of realise what you're doing? Uh, the boys, it's what the boys are doing. We we, we prepare them, they they do the rest, uh, they make us look good. Um, they work hard, they train hard, and, and then they perform like that. So, uh, full credit goes to them. We we just help guide them on their journey and, and what they're doing. So, uh, I think all the praise goes to the boys. Yeah, coming back from 12 0 down in such a big game, showed great character again. Another shining example of, of what uh, our strengths are uh, this season. Yeah, we we always seem to want to do it the hard way, um, but uh, lessons we've learned along the games uh, previous to this week, we've learned to to ride that wave and sort of uh, overcome it. And uh, the boys stuck in there; they 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 stuck to the system, the game plan, and um, what was needed for us to get the two points. And and they they did well. Like I said, they made us look good. Yeah, uh, two tries from Callum Watkins. Uh, shows how important he is uh, for the club and the team going forward uh, in our playoff journey. Yeah, definitely. You, you forget two tries from Oli Bartonton too. So um, everyone plays a key role, and obviously Cal, Cal was there to finish it, um, <clears throat> like he does every week. He turns up. He's always uh, first to put his hand up to to lead that team every week and and do his part to to help uh, across the board. And everyone else just jumps on that bandwagon and and does their does their bits as well. Yeah, what's the injury, injury situation like uh, coming into the business end of the of the season? Medical, you got to ask medical. They're, that's their that's their area. We we deal with the players on the field. They deal with the players not on the field. But um, no, everyone's do everyone's uh, fighting fit. Those that aren't in the team and those that aren't uh, in the squad, they they're fighting to get back in the team too. They they're training real hard. I, uh, like any other club, that you don't want to be injured because they they train a lot harder. So. Yeah. Yeah, a short turnaround this week against Settlements. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for us? Obviously, we're in good form, but we've got a short, got a small squad. Uh, I wouldn't say any team is a bad thing. Uh, I think for us, we're confident in how we play, so we prepare ourselves to to play at our best. And and whoever whoever's against us, uh, that's our main focus. I wouldn't say it's good or bad. Um, we we rise to the challenge, and and it's just another challenge. Uh, obviously, a big one. A uh, big team, and and they obviously uh, turned the corner from from last few weeks and and performed last week. So uh, we we got to 
so I'd sit on a big game. Yeah, obviously, possible opportunity to sort of rotate and, and rest players in your squad. Yeah, for, for those that can play, obviously. Um, we got the numbers to do. We'll, we'll, we'll chop and change that here and there. But um, I feel like uh, we've got that sort of team that everyone wants to play. So whether they're carrying a bruise or an injury, that they, they still want to be playing. So uh, it makes it a bit harder for us. Yeah, six points gap now to Leeds in seven play to cru a crucial moment of the season, the victory against Leeds. Does it are you under any less pressure now with that buffer? Um, I try well personally, I, I know we're not at the top of the mountain, so you got you got the you got KR in that up top, so we're we're looking up. That's where we want to be. we I try not to focus too much on who's on our tail and obviously they're they're trying to chase us at, at the same time. So um Obviously, there's a bit of a gap, which which is good for us, but we we still don't take our foot off uh, the gas. We we've got to keep on, keep reaching for that top. Yeah, St. Helens are a very good team, trying to recover from a bad patch. Does that make them extra dangerous? Do you think? Uh bad patch or not, they're still a good team. So every week we we prepare for a big game, and uh, no different this week. Uh, like I said, good patch, bad patch. It's St. Helens. You you expect a big game. Yeah, Tim Lafayette suspended this week. What opportunity for someone else to come in and uh, take the shirt? Yeah, um, he's obviously sitting sitting down, having another week off. So we'll, we'll keep it that, that way. Uh, we, we've got boys ready to put their hand up and uh, turn up for, for the rest of the team and, and for the club. So I, th I think whoever we put there is going to play well. Yeah, we won at Saints early in the season for the first time in a lifetime. Opportunity to make history again, make it a treble. Yeah, let's hope so. That's that's the plan. Um, everyone keeps talking about all these records that have been broken, and I just see it as another game and another win. So that that's what we're going with. Yeah, final question from me. You were part of two su su successful Salford sides, reaching a grand final and a Challenge Cup final. How close do you think we are to reaching them heights again? Um, I feel like we've got a strong team to to help us reach those goals to get there. Um, I know our boys, like us, like I keep saying before, I keep praising our team. They train hard. They're a good squad, and they look after each other and themselves and and how they conduct themselves uh, when they come to training. So um, anything's possible. I, I know our boys uh, are striving for the same thing that that every other team is, and that's to make the grand final and win. So yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for talking to us again, Chris Dan, and uh, let's hope I'm jumping around again on Thursday night. Yeah, let's hope so. Just make sure you keep your top down there. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, have you got any questions for Chris? Yeah, just, just a couple, that's all right. Um, you, you mentioned records there, Chris. Do, do you use, do you, do you talk about that kind of stuff with the players and use it as motivation? Like, you know, you've got the chance to beat Saints here, who've won four of the last five titles three times in one season. Honestly, no, we don't speak about any records. Um, like I said, we most of the time we find out about these records after they're broken or um, or when Jimmy puts them up online. So yeah. And in terms of the the top of that table, Hull KR top, Warrington third, you're fourth. How good do you think it would be for Super League to have a, a new name on that trophy this season, a team that hasn't won it before? Yeah, it's always good. Obviously, good for the game to have a different winner, but. Uh, it's not a it's not an easy feat to get uh for for us like like I said like every other team in the comp they they want to be holding that trophy at the end of the season but um the, those those teams are on there for a reason they're good teams and perform well on the day so we we got that's something we're going to strive for every every week and against every team we play. Nice one. Good luck for Thursday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Louis, have you you got anything or? Yeah, sorry, Chris. No, just just one from me. Um, Nene McDonald obviously went into the into the crowd on on Saturday after the win. Just how much has he like? He seems to be really enjoying his time at Salford. Just how much has has he impressed you so far this season? Yeah, I was impressed that he got that follow on his neck. Um, after the after playing eighty minutes, but um, no, he's been playing well. He's he's turned up. He's He's found the love of the sport again uh, in the top grade and, and it's showing in his performance. Obviously, he's, like I, I keep bragging, that the boys around him are a good, good crew and good good bunch of fellows, so it um, makes his job easier. And He's a likeable character and um, 
makes 10 times easier when you're happy off field and makes your performance a lot easier. Yeah, does he seem a more refreshed player, especially given the manner of his exit at, at Leeds? Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like he's a bit more refreshed. I feel like he's uh, had a lot of different coaches and, and I, I feel like he's he's found a coach that's that fits him and, and how he plays and the clarity that he gets in, in how we, we'd like to see him play and sort of give him that freedom to, to express himself as well. Like I said, he's a character, so... You don't want to take that off uh, certain players and, and how they play.